Let's check the categorical column. First, you have to differentiate the categorical column with other column because both Boolean column and categorical column are the object data type. But by using value count, you can easily identify the categorical column. See, x dot once you extract the object column from the data frame and then you have to use value count function. See, the entire 25,000 row has only this value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Only the 9 value which present in entire 25 row per column location, which means it's a categorical column. If you check another column, wind direction at 3 p.m., the entire 25 row has only this value in the column for wind direction 3 p.m. So, this four column are the categorical column. Here, we are going to use one hot encoding to convert the categorical column to integer column. It's one of the important activities in the machine learning model pipeline step pre-process. As part of pre-process, you have to convert the entire data frame to integer format so that you can pass the data frame to test or train the machine model. I am going to Google the words or not encoding. On heart encoding. Whenever you stuck in the middle of any machine learning belt, then the only option is the Google. You just search the keyword, you will get some info that info will help us to move forward. Okay. And the image section, you could find the image. Yes, this one. If you click, this will redirect to the stock overflow. Stock overflow is one of the portal where you can find huge amount of information let assume this is our data frame and we have two column id and color id we have ids and color white red black purple and gold we have five row one hot encoding format it's something which we will convert the categorical column to integer column to do that you have to find out the value how many value unique value are there in the column color white red black purple gold all are unique value then you have to add extra column white with the color column value white red black purple and gold after that you have to match the value if it is in the first row for the id one we have color white then you have to put one and all other column zero and the next row id two red here you have to put under the red column 1 and remaining column white, black, purple, gold are 0. Likewise, you have to add only for the column black the ID 3 and purple for purple column and gold for gold column. All other columns are 0. This is how the one not encoding format convert the categorical column to integer format column. Let's do the same in our Jupyter Notebook program. First, I am going to display the data frame x dot head. And then I am going to check the type of x and the shape of x. Because once you apply the one not encoding format, the shape of data frame is totally changed because the new column gets added based on the categorical column value. X dot shape type is data frame and the shape 25,000 and 22 column. Now I'm going to use pandas function get dummies pd dot get underscore dummy. If you press tab, this will auto populate the function. Inside the parentheses, you have to pass the data frame x and then the column which you want to convert, which means the categorical column. Columns, square bracket, I'm going to Use the categorical column name, location, wind gesture, direction 9 am and 3 pm. You have to give double quotes. After that, you have to mention the prefix. Same location, wind gesture and 
9 a.m. 3 p.m. Because once you convert categorical column to integer column, you need to understand what are the columns are newly added and based on the categorical column value. So that the location prefix get added for all the value which are available in the location column. Likewise, each column value gets added the prefix with the column name. Fine. And I am going to assign some variable to store the updated data frame. Display the column of BF underscore the updated data frame column. Here we have added location prefix for the location category column. The same prefix gets added for the location category unique value. Location, all the prefix location column are newly added as part of location categorical column. And the suffix value or the unique value in the location column. Fine. And the likewise, you could see wind guest direction. This is prefix for the wind guest direction categorical column because we have added here. Okay. And then the suffix value are the unique value in the wind gesture direction categorical column you could see this in the above uh, here here you could see the all unique value in the categorical column wind guest direction the all the value you could find it out in our suffix with the prefix of column name wind gesture direction likewise you could find 9 am and 3 pm fine also you can check the shape of df underscore dumb dot shape. Let's change 75 column now after one hot encoding 